हाउ टू रीड द टर्मिनोलॉजी है ना बाय इट्स सो एट्टी परसेंट टर्म्स आर यू नो इन दिस वे दे आर सेल्फ एक्सप्लेनेटरी सो अब देखो इसके डेफिनेशन हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू प्यूटस आई एस एंड माई सेल्फ अक्षय गुरु सो गाइज हियर आई एम अगेन विथ वन टॉपिक ऑफ जियोमॉर्फोलॉजी जोग्राफी ऑप्शनल दिस टॉपिक इज एक्चुअली यू नो वेरी ऑप्शनल स्पेसिफिक टॉपिक दैट डिफाइन्स ए कोर डिटेल्स अबाउट हाउ दिस द प्रोसेस ऑफ डेन्यूडेशन इज रादर हेल्पफुल है ना और सिंपली द नॉलेज ऑफ दिस जियोमॉर्फोलॉजिकल स्टडीज वुड हेल्प अस इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग द इवोल्यूशन ऑफ लैंडफॉर्म so this denudation chronology see the topic is simply applied in nature or i would say rather it is the applied geomorphology topic in itself so dekho kya hota hai pehle to what we shall now before further going into detail what we should understand what this two terms okay or words means as in theek hai like this denudation chronology it includes two words that denudation and chronology ab dekho denudation what does it mean by the root word for this denudation you will find that is denude denude it means to remove or uncover or strip off to remove or to uncover in a sense if uh, as it uh, you know with respect to geomorphology so obviously that the case is that this is a removal of a surface rock material say and this process is contributed by four different key processes further okay to pehle to hum denudation ka meaning samajhte hain denudation is simply that process which involves the wearing away of the earth surface itself wearing away of the earth surface now by by what you will find moving water erosional agents as in ice winds waves and weathering agents as well so like agar denudation ka meaning hum dekhe that simply gives you this idea it is a process to uncover the rock surface okay or the earth surface as in now you will find देखो इसका मीनिंग जैसे स्ट्रिप ऑफ और अनकवर जो मैंने बताया था एंड इट इज वॉट टू बी अकर्ड और कैरिड आउट इन फोर डिफरेंट प्रोसेस और लाइक फेजेस फर्स्ट वेदरिंग द सेकेंड इरोजन ट्रांसपोर्टेशन एंड मास वेस्टिंग एंड यू विल फाइंड ऑल दिस प्रोसेस आर एक्सोजेनिक इन नेचर you know as you know geomorphic processes are further being divided into two based on their uh, the area of operation and the again the point of origin endogenic and exogenic and this denudation process that rather contributes for this exogenic process okay so weathering erosion transportation and mass wasting that rather contributes for denudation again coming to our core term क्रोनोलॉजी डेनुडेशन क्रोनोलॉजी देखो क्रोनोलॉजी इट सिंपली रिफ्लेक्ट अगेन क्रोनोलॉजी इट मीन दर्डर ऑफ इवेंट्स ऑर्डर ऑफ इवेंट्स दैट के इन विच पर्टिकुलर ऑर्डर दैट इवेंट अकर्ड और इवेंट अकर्ड एज इन सो सिंपली डेन्यूडेशन क्रोनोलॉजी अब इसका मीनिंग देखो अब यू कैन यू नो कनेक्ट विथ denudation chronology it must be like an order of occurring or occurring or uncovering of the earth surface itself yeah i hope you guys are now able to understand how to read the terminology you know by itself so 80% terms are you know in this way they are self explanatory so ab dekho iski definition uh, like we need to mention the technical definition as well so it means reconstruction of denudational history it means the removal history of the given region as in so this region could be you will find ye region ho sakta hai mountain ye ho sakta hai plateau ye ho sakta hai plain ye ho sakta hai river basin ये हो सकता है कोई और भी अदर सरफेस फॉरेस्ट वाला रीजन हो सकता है या यू विल फाइंड राइट डेजर्ट हो सकता है एनीथिंग आज 
so this simply this process it explains about the what is the past or how this events occurred that leads to the current development of this landform okay so if, if we consider for that matter like the thar desert so how come this thar desert came into existence so yahan par agar hum isko study karenge by the process of derivation we get to know about see what was the past of this region and how it then led to this particular you know the development as such now uh, in order to again trace this denudation uh, null events okay or the removal history we have to believe in hai na kuch principles hai this principles are rather the founding principles when it comes to this denudational chronology dekho this principles are like you will find there is sequential change in landforms through time that there are two schools of thought as in in terms of landform evolution sequential ch uh, changes or in uh, 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 landform evolution that believes in the cycle or like the stages and the other is you will find the consequential changes as in okay so sequential changes it means the cyclic manner or the stage wise transformation of the uh, landform that rather occurs okay so this one then the principle of uniform uh, uniformitarianism what does it mean by it simply means that see those process or those you know phenomena which are operational uh, like in today's world over that landform they must be operating even in the past as well you know ha huh, the it may be a case intensity must be you know uh, like this could be deferred it may be uh, the uh, you know the nature of influencing factor this could be deferred but again according to this principle that the same nature of geological processes rather you know operational then the cyclic nature of earth history simply you will find just uh, say those who can't remember the past are condemned to repeat it you know so simply the earth repeats its history or uh, for that matter like geography agar hum isko yahan pe replace kar de to so earth repeats its geography again and again or geographical processes again and again you know so we have to believe in this fact then the palimpsest topography now what does it mean by palimpsest topography that you will find the okay so uh, palimpsest topography like simply that topography which has been you know uh, uh, formed again vanished again formed again vanished and it has underwent through the number of different cycles so it has gone through number of evolutionary cycles and this topography has evidences hai na the blood evidences of this processes or cycles it went through and this type of topography where you will find number of geological processes and their evidences that simply known as palimpsest topography is ki case study bhi hum dekhenge you get to know about this then then the derecian model of cyclic evolution of landform that is one of the most landmark uh, uh, model when it comes to the landform evolution the, again prescribes the uh, evolution of landform in youth mature and old stage of their life okay so these are the founding principles of denudational chronology now <clears throat> then what methodology uh, does it include then methodologies ab dekho as uh, it is pretty much a clear fact obviously that uh, that that's absolutely fine with that we have decided to read the past of any landform yeah by means of denudation but again you will find there must be you know some method say or techniques to read that past blindly hum to ye kar nahi payenge na hai na jaise for example by looking at arawlis how can you exactly conclude ki arawlis ka past matlab jaise himalayas jaise hua hoga or what kind of different you know like uh, phases or geomorphic processes that it went through so simply we have to have some methods or methodologies you know for this particular case and here uh four to five or possibly more as in you know this methods are at our disposal the first you will find drainage pattern the most explanatory the uh, rather one of the best you know uh, 
history tra tracer or chronology tracer this drainage pattern by means of the number of polycyclic phenomena it went through the number of you know the formation of waterfall meandering cases or you know the type of uh, uh, the channel morphology it all reflects of this fact how many cycle how many different processes endogenic or exogenic that this went through now or particularly exogenic case to aur bhi zyada aayega so this drainage pattern then you will find relic surfaces or remained surfaces relic in a sense it simply reflects this fact that the leftover part of the often uplifted topography is very important hai na is very important because that help us to read the past of this case hai na jaise identifying remnants of older erosion surfaces such as the accordant cements or elevated platform helps to reconstruct the erosional history of the region you can apply it for the andes you can apply it for the eastern ghats over in the india as well then the past tectonic events again the uh, tectonic uh, 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 you know history tectonic history just could again help us to you know connect with this past so again that uh, you know led to the chronological events of this case Now, apart from this again in order to ensure the age of this you know or how to ensure the age of this formation there are some dating techniques hai na dating so dating in a sense in geography okay so that is not that dating so dating over here it means the calculation of age here you will find that different methods jo hum waise yahan pe uh, that is not the scope of this topic it includes the sedimentation analysis hai na sedimentation analysis and <clears throat> the analysis of the sediments what uh, you know and when they are you know get deposited and then radiation dating radiation dating in a sense the radioactive tracing of this sediments by means of their ultimately by, by means of the radiation and then tracing the age of theirs okay so these are the different methods used for this denudational chronology <coughs> then now do we have any you know case study as in so do we have any real time application of all those concepts that we have studied answer is yes you know like this concept based on this denudation chronology geologists geomorphologists they able to trace the past of number of landforms on the earth surface you know number of landforms in fact and one of the best is rather you will find the grand canyon that is in the us north america uh, on the colorado plateau and as you know it is very world famous for the this canyon formation at this grand canyon river you know it is again very as in famous for this canyon formation and tracing how this denudational events occurred what type of processes there must be in the past and what type of you know the geological processes this river must have uh, like the channel must have went through it gives you the best idea about ki is topography ka past kya hoga kaise evolved hua hoga and in the you know that course of time as well so it serves a paradigm in the denudation chronological study the geological strata exposed in its wall provide a timeline of erosion events spanning like spanning across millions of years the analyzing sedimentary layers and dating techniques like cosmogenetic nuclide uh, dating scientists decipher the canons formation history hai na so ultimately you will find whole this understanding is you know like elucidate broader principles of erosion and landscape evolution as well okay so this denudation chronology is one of the very uh, uh, important aspect you know or method to read the topography now by the sense we can connect it with the himalayas himalayas ki history trace kar sakte hum ki bhi in fact right aur bhi karenge then uh, araulis hai desert hai vindhyas plateaus hai andes hai you will find you can deserts a world desert as in right you can stretch it to the you know different parts of the world but again as you know nothing in this world is perfect so this technique even has its own limitation limitations on like this scale you will find this even if you consider that k <coughs> this technique is what uh, like we can derive okay we can read we can interpret the past of the uh, 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 landform based on its present status but in that sense it is deductive hai na a being a deductive method it gives again a much limitation kyunki it is not very you know much necessary that it should reflect the past in that case being a deductive again so it restructuring the event based on this limited evidence as of now today jo bhi remnant bacha hoga so that is that somehow sounds incomplete 
okay then you'll find landscape modification because there are number of processes number of you know evolutionary activities that it goes through so the subsequent erosion and deposition can significantly alter or obscure the older erosion surface and the most possible again we are not supposed to neglect the human impact on this surface okay aise bhi hoga human ne bahut zyada impact kiya to wo jo evidences the right so those have been lap uh, lapsed and ultimately we have some misreading about the topography then dating earth centenities again we don't have that very accurate technology you know for the case of determining the age so it it is what a kind of range may be ranging for thousands of years so that gives a kind of imperfection to it then historical approach is highly deductive and speculative and valid geological evidences are not equally made available and due to which you know we can stretch the limitations further but yeah these are the most accepted uh, uh, limitations of this but even if right despite this limitations that this technology is very landmark you know this process is rather very landmark as it help us to understand the overall history of how our earth Uh, you know uh, like achieved what uh, it is in now 2024 2026 2020 30 and even in the future right so that is what the significance of this generation chronology i believe you guys are now having pretty much clarity over on this topic so if you really like this video if you want any further topic to be explained again so please don't forget to comment in the comment box and please share like and subscribe to our channel thank you guys